Hello friends, it's nice to see you. Today, we're going to be reading a story from Munchworks. This is one of my favorite Robert Munch stories. It's called The Paper Bag Princess. It's written by Robert Munch, as I said, and the pictures are by Michael Marchenko. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and she had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all of her clothes with his fiery breath and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he had left a trail of burnt forests and horses' bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the, on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away! I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? <laughs> yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up 10 forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon. And he took huge, <gasps> deep <gasps> breath and breathed out so much fire, he burnt up 50 forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another <gasps> huge <gasps> breath and breathed out so much fire, he burnt up 100 forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another <gasps> huge <gasps> breath <gasps> But this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire to cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the whole world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, fantastic, do it again. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could. Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. And there 
was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes. Your hair is all tangled. And you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. The end. Did you like that story? It was a little bit different from other princess stories you might have heard, but I kind of like it because it's a little bit silly and a little bit fun. Thanks for stopping in today to read with me, and I'll see you soon.